Bush is scheduled to hold talks with the Egyptian and Syrian presidents after saying he wanted United Nations backing for military action in the Gulf. He arrived for his tour as Mrs. Thatcher announced she was resigning as leader of the Conservative Party in Britain. And we apologize for the poor quality of the satellite transmission from Saudi Arabia. President Bush on a Middle East tour aimed at cementing the alliance against Saddam Hussein arrived at the Saudi military base at Dharan unaware that he was about to lose his closest ally in the Gulf crisis, the British Prime Minister. On board Air Force One, there'd been no hint of the imminent resignation, as Barbara Bush told reporters about her last conversation with a defiant Margaret Thatcher at the Heads of State meeting in Paris. Oh, okay. Very, very courageous lady, and did not seem down in the dark. Sort of said, not just for being She was asked if she believed Mrs. Thatcher had been worried by the leadership challenge. Oh, okay. Addressing American, British and Arab forces, President Bush stressed the importance of maintaining the alliance. What we're confronting is a classic bully who thinks he can get away with taking sand in the face of the world. We will not appease this aggression. The President posed with British RAF personnel in the crowd before leaving to visit American and British troops in the desert. News of Mrs. Thatcher's decision to resign will have been relayed to him in the desert. According to American analysts, it will hurt him. <laughs>